Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. One conversation I have with my high school students frequently is encouragement for them to take and use free information while it's available to them for free. In high school, you have teachers jumping out in front of you like a deer in traffic saying, hey, we have information for you. Come get this certification. Why don't you learn this? Why don't you make sure you understand this? Apply for this college, apply for this scholarship. And at this stage, honestly, we're darn near holding the students' hands as the education population or the current demographic of students becomes less and less apt and less and less motivated to become something in life in larger numbers. Once you graduate, which is apparently where most of my viewers are according to the demographics, at least here on YouTube, uh, maybe some of you are in your 20s and early 30s. So if you're at that point, more often than not, the time for free information has passed. Now, with that being said, you can still get information that will help you move ahead in life. If you find a mentor, God bless you. Listen to that person and take their advice. And a one word, one quick word on mentors. Make sure they have a track record with some tangible results that they can give you. Many times education will suffice. Actual success in a given industry is better. But you do have some people who understand industries, but they choose to remain educators. At one point I was like that, and I know many people who are like that. But of course, someone who has actual experience in a given field is going to be your best bet for that particular field. These days you have a lot of people out there charging for consulting and they don't know what they're talking about. They talk a good game. It sounds very good, but you're dealing with con men. There's a difference between someone with actual experience and tangible results and someone who's trying to just get you to give money for something that sounds good. You also need to learn that some people in certain industries who have experience, they'll con you too. So you do need to learn basic business principles if you're not going to go to college the curriculum that exists for um for business management accounting marketing and other basic business principles as a matter of fact principles of business is an actual topic matter you can actually take free courses online in that particular case it'll cost you time but i guess there is another uh, free opportunity, but there's free stuff out there, but it's not going to be the best information that's going to take you as far as consulting goes. At one point or another, paying for training and paying for consulting is an investment and it's likely to pay off as long as you do your part. Don't be afraid to invest in yourself. I just made a video about people having money for things that they want but not things that they need and i was halfway joking but i was halfway serious when it's time to pay for insider information when it's time to pay to have your resume done professionally when it's time to pay for a degree or a training program it's time to pay for the best computer to make sure that you are able to get your work done in a flawless manner or the most flawless manner possible or even even when you're dealing with the mentor, if you got the money, pay for lunch, pay for do something to make that person want to see you coming or at least get, you know, what are they really getting out of talking to you if they already have themselves established at that point? That person's there because they just want to be so offer some internship hours, offer to help with something in the office, at least pay for lunch. Doesn't always have to be a, cons a consultation fee, but just understand 
most of the time, most people ain't just giving out free, valuable information. You do have some people out there like that. And even then, how much time do those people have to just keep giving free information? So when you get it, it's a blessing. Take advantage of it and run with it. But otherwise, just understand, as long as you vet who you're getting the information from, there's nothing wrong with paying consultation fees. Because guess what? After you work a while and you learn your industry, you'll get tired of people just wanting stuff from you for free, too, because your time is money. So respect your profession and respect the general business principles. If somebody is offering you valuable information and they have a uh, fee and they want you to schedule time with them, hey, if that's the right person and that person has the goods, then pay the fee and learn what you need to learn. And as always, never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.